Back making will soon be spotted again on the big screen. A new feature film undefiled is using the city's Luther Williams Field as their main backdrop. Caitlin Sabater has the details on how they'll make movie magic while in a pandemic. It's not as easy as lights, camera, action anymore. COVID safety is a top priority for many key players in making this film happen. They say they already had to postpone the film once in the beginning of the pandemic and don't want to have to do it again. Bradford Hayes is used to working on movie sets, but not sets five minutes from home. I just got straight on 75 and I was here. The Dublin native is an actor and producer of the new feature film Undefiled, which is based off the true story of an aged minor league baseball player who gets a shot at his dreams, but at the cost of someone else's life. I wanted to do something and make, and so this film having baseball in the background and then this stadium, where else was I going to shoot him? The role is not much of a stretch for Hayes, who used to play baseball professionally. Director Matt McCauley said Hayes was the one who suggested Luther Williams Field. Is the history behind this ball field is amazing. It's the perfect setting for our, our film. McCauley told me the process has been years in the making and then put on pause due to COVID-19. I think uh, excitement is really not, not even a good word. I think surreal is more probably proper. And now they're ready to hit the ground running, but carefully. Various organizations like Screen Actors Guild and so forth came out with protocols uh, that make it safe. That Some of these protocols include getting tested before arriving to set, temperature checks, and the use of PPE when possible. It's not like we're just opening up the ballpark for them to film here. There's a lot that else that goes into that with our staff and um, their staff. Macon Bacon President Brandon Raphael feels like everyone is on the same page. Uh, the number one priority is to make sure that we do this the right way. Hayes couldn't feel more comfortable. Everybody has worked together with this, and uh, I think we have it all under control. In Macon, Caitlin Sabater, 13 WMAZ News. Aaron Buzza with Visit Macon says there could be minor traffic delays in downtown Macon on Friday the 12th due to filming. We have all the details. That's on our website at 13WMAZ.com.